Hi, welcome back. In this lecture, we'll create a RabbitMQ producer to produce and send a JSON message to the queue. All right, let's head over to the IntelliJ IDEA and let's go to Publisher Package. Right click on it, New and then choose Java class and let's give class name as Rabbit MQ JSON Producer. Perfect. Let's annotate this class with add service annotation and then in order to pass a json message to the queue we need a exchange as well as a routing key right so let's get a exchange and routing key from the application dot properties file so in order to get the value of this particular key we have to use add value annotation so let's go to rabbitmq json producer again and here i am going to create an instance variable let's say private string exchange and then private string routing json key perfect and let's use add value annotation and here is the syntax within a double quote dollar within a curly braces and let's pass the property key so in order to get the key go to application.properties file and this is the key that is rabbitmq.exchange.name so let's copy it and go back to rabbitmq json producer and just paste it and let's copy this and paste it over here and let's go back to application.properties file again and let's copy this key and go back to this class and simply replace this one perfect once we got exchange and routing json key then we can able to send a json message to the queue right well in order to send a json message to the queue we need a rabbit template right so let's go and let's inject rabbit template over here so we are going to use constructor based dependency injection to inject rabbit template so in order to do that let's first define the instance variable private rabbit template and then rabbit template and let's create a parameterized constructor right click generate constructor and then only choose rabbit template variable okay perfect now we have a parameterized constructor all right next we need to create a method which will send a json message to the queue so let's create a method let's say public wide and let's give method name as send json message so we need to pass a user object as a method parameter well basically we are going to send a user object using rabbit template and then rabbit template internally uses message converter to convert this user object into json well if you go to the configuration class over here rabbit MQ configuration class we have provided a message converter to the rabbit template right it means that rabbit template behind the scene uses this message converter to convert a java object into json and json into java object isn't it great let's go back to rabbit mq json producer over here and here we need to log this you know this object to the console so in order to do that we need a logger instance right so let me quickly create object of the logger private static final and then let's say logger logger from org dot self for the package and then there should be a logger instance name new not new so we are going to use a factory right logger factory dot get logger and then pass the class name perfect well once we have a logger object then let's go and let's use this logger object to log the message logger dot info and then let's use string dot format method to format the string let's give string you know some string as json message sent and then placeholder percentage s and then user dot to string perfect so this percentage s is replaced with this you know this message and if you can see here we are calling to string method to print this object as a to string next we're going to use rabbit template dot convert and send method 
well if you can see here there are a lot of overloaded convert and send methods right we're going to use the appropriate method that is first one it has three parameters exchange routing key and object so let's call this method and just pass post parameter as exchange second parameter as routing json key third parameter as user object all right so basically this convert and send method send this user object to this exchange and then exchange will use this routing json key to route this user object to the queue okay so this is the meaning of this statement all right it's pretty simple now let's go ahead and let's run our Spring Boot application just to verify there are no errors in a console. So let me go to main entry point class. From here I'm going to run the Spring Boot application. And there we go. There are no errors or exceptions in the console. It means that the code that we have written in this lecture is working as expected. Alright. So basically we have written a RabbitMQ JSON producer which will send a JSON message to this exchange and then this exchange will use this routing key to route this message to the queue. Alright, perfect. In next lecture, we'll create a REST API that will send a JSON message to this producer and this producer will send that message to the exchange and then exchange will use this routing key to route that message to the queue. Alright, great. I will see you in the next lecture.